Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I want to share my top three clarifying shampoos that I have come across over the years that I think are absolutely fantastic, but also gentle clarifying shampoos. If you are at all in the market for picking up a clarifying product for your hair, I cannot recommend these three enough. So we're gonna go through those today. Um, as always, I'll list and link everything that I'm sharing in the description box down below. If you wanna go read up more about these products yourself, check out other people's reviews or you know look at the ingredient decks. I list and link everything in the description box, so check that out if you are so inclined. Um, but yeah, you guys, let's discuss these. Um, first of all, I used to be someone who, in my teens and 20s, I would just, uh, you know, go to the drugstore. Um, I There are clarifying products that I used to use from Pantene, from Garnier. There was a clarifying shampoo that I used to use from Neutrogena, and, you know, there were a few other drugstore brands as well. The one, I would say, unifier in terms of my experience with any of these drugstore clarifying formulations was that they always left my hair feeling like straw afterwards, every single one. And it would be to the point where I would definitely, you know, have to use a hair mask the day that I was using the mask to even be able to like comb through my hair again. Um, but then I would also usually have to use that hair mask for a couple days after even to almost undo the damage of the clarifying shampoo. So they were just way too harsh on my hair. And after I let my hair go naturally gray when I was in my early 30s, I finally decided to start trying a lot more high-end hair care formulations and I personally find that there is a big difference, especially when it comes to these clarifying products with their, you know, with the drugstore versions and these high-end versions that I'm talking about in this video, a world of difference. These three do not leave my hair looking like absolute straw afterwards. I have just had such a great experience. Um, I typically do use a clarifying shampoo once a week, but sometimes if I don't feel like I have a lot of buildup, I will go every two weeks. Now, my last suggestion is going to be uh, more of like an everyday um, clarifying type option, and this I think would be a great one if you have a very, very oily scalp. So I'll leave that one for last. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with um, these first two here. So this first one I have been using for uh, at least, I think, two or possibly even three years now. I know I've been through several bottles. This is the Way Detox Shampoo. There are a lot of hair care products that I have loved from Way over the years, um, especially this one here. Their, um, their hair mask for fine to like medium hair textures is fabulous. They also have one for, you know, thicker and coarser hair as well, but clearly that's not my issue. I have, you know, 57 strands of hair here. So, um, but that particular uh, fine to medium hair formulation in terms of their masks is wonderful. I have their leave-in treatment in my bathroom right now. I just used it this morning. Way makes amazing hair care products. If you've never thought about checking the brand out, honestly, like two thumbs up. They're a lot of great products. This is a staple for me from Way. Um, this detox shampoo will get my scalp super, super clean, but again, not tight or dry feeling afterwards. It also gets all of the remaining styling products. And I use a lot on my hair on a daily basis. I mean, I'm using leave-ins. I am using, um, you know, minoxidil on my scalp to regrow some hair from, you know, a situation that I had last year. Um, I am using mousse. I am using volumizing sprays. I am using hair powders. I'm using hair sprays. Like, there's a lot that goes onto my hair most days because I, because you know, probably because I didn't get stuck naturally with thick, luscious, voluminous, voluminous hair, you know, like that's what I crave. So I just use a lot of product to make my hair look like it's a lot more thick and voluminous. Takes quite a bit. 
and all that is fine and well, but it does build up over time. This immediately gets rid of everything, but does it in a way without, again, leaving my hair. I'm sure you know the feeling, like your hair just literally feels so dry that it feels straw-like. It's difficult to comb through or brush through. Um, this does not do that. Um, I certainly do use a good hydrating conditioner after using this, but I don't feel like I need to use a hair mask. It's not that aggressive, but again, leaves everything feeling clean. Um, without that residue buildup, it's, it's magic. Like, I feel like this is how all clarifying shampoos should work. Get all the gunk out, but don't overly dry out the hair or the scalp. So if you've never tried this one, I cannot give it enough thumbs up. It's fabulous. My second, uh, pick here is actually a little bit newer to me. Now, I just recently finished my first, you know, smaller size of this. So this is the, uh, the large size that I purchased after immediately falling in love with the little sample that I had. This is the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub. Um, this is made with sea salt. Um, here's the thing. This is a solid shampoo. I know this looks weird. <laughs> And in fact, the first couple times that I used it, it took me a little while to get used to it. So you basically take a little scoop, you um, emulsify the product between your hands, and then you start working it into the scalp, and then you know washing it down the rest of your hair. Um, it does have very um, large, I would say, uh, salt granules, and so that's what's giving you that really gentle scalp exfoliation you don't need to be aggressive with this one you don't need to scrub it into your scalp just very gently you know massage it your hair will have so much volume afterwards and the best part is that again you are not left with hair that looks like straw you just it's it rinses clean takes everything with it I use, um, actually I did bring in the mask that I use after this one. I think honestly these two should be used together hand in hand, but you know, if you have a, a really nice mask that you already love, um, but they're, uh, the Christoph Robin regenerating mask with prickly pear oil. Fabulous. First of all, again, we have this nice thick formulation here. A little bit goes a long way. I think that's what I actually appreciate about all of these products I'm showing you today is that they are super concentrated formulations. You don't need a lot and um, man, they get the job done. This mask here, I'm telling you, it's absolutely worth grabbing if you are going to pick this up. But do know that it takes a little bit of time, I think, to get used to using a more solid shampoo like this formulation. Just remember to emulsify that product between your hands before you start applying it to your scalp. Um, it's gonna help distribute it a little bit more evenly and then make the rinsing process a little bit easier. But if you are looking for a thorough, thorough scalp exfoliation, along with getting all of the styling products or maybe you have hard water where you live, a lot of minerals, things like that in the water, um, you know, this will certainly get that out. Um, and then, you know, go in with a nice hydrating treatment after, fabulous. You are gonna have the most voluminous, perfectly clean scalp and hair that is not tight or dry feeling even remotely. Okay, this next option here, I think would actually be great for someone who has a very oily scalp, who's looking for more of like a, not, I wouldn't say like everyday clarifying experience, but you could actually use these most days of the week. Um, and in full disclosure, all of these other products here that I'm talking about up until this point were purchased by me, but these two products here from Aveda were sent to me by Aveda. So they were gifted via the Skeepers website. I did not pay for these, but I actually used to use both of these in the past because the salons that I typically went to um, in my 20s and in my 30s um, were Aveda salons. So I have gone through several bottles of the Rosemary Mint Purifying Shampoo and Conditioner over the years anyway. I already knew that I love these, but I'm definitely grateful to Aveda for sending these out um, for consideration. So 
Thank you very much, Aveda. Um, I will put a link to these again in the description box down below. But the weightless uh, rosemary mint purifying shampoo and conditioner would be a wonderful, more, I would say, near daily option if you have a very oily scalp. I feel like my scalp is definitely normalized quite a bit over the years of finally nourishing my scalp a little bit more and using um you know hydrating treatments and masks things like this just like with my face um you know i needed to learn the lesson that if you are trying to treat the oily areas completely drying everything out is the worst thing that you can do it is just going to send up more oil to the surface because your little oil glands are thinking that there are you know your face is dry well if it's dry we need to send up more oil like that's your body's reaction right but if you keep the surface of your face and also your scalp hydrated there is not going to be nearly the amount of oil production you might still have oily scalp oily face but it's not nearly as bad i'm telling you anyway in terms of everyday options i think these are fantastic um the rosemary mint has actually always been the fragrance or the shampoo and conditioner that was used on my hair when i was at the shampoo bowl at with these different aveda salons it, every single one that i went to when i would do my consultation you know they would take a look at my hair we would go to the shampoo bowl and sometimes i would wish like oh i hope that they use this shampoo and conditioner on me but like 10 times out of 10, it was the rosemary mint. So this is going to leave your scalp super clean. It's gonna leave your hair very clean, but I would say it's the gentler of the other two that I mentioned here. So that's why I think it could be used a little bit more frequently than I would say the scrub or the way detox. Those, I think once a week, once every two weeks, that's plenty. These daily basis, no problem. So this particular um, formulation is very lightweight. It does have quite a potent, I would say mint. It's more mint forward than it's rosemary forward to my nose, but I definitely smell the rosemary in here as well. So if you are at all averse to um, highly fragranced products, I mean, while I think these are very relaxing fragrances, I know there's a lot of people out there who are a little bit more sensitive to fragrance and Aveda products definitely have a scent to them. So keep that in mind. I think it smells beautiful, but this again, I can usually use it a couple days in a row. My hair is clean. Um, I get out of the shower. I don't feel like my hair feels like straw. Um, I actually use these two today. Um, the weightless conditioner is fabulous. It rinses so cleanly out of your hair, but you can then get out and immediately comb through your hair. Like it gets rid of all of the tangles or any, you know, of that kind. I don't know. I feel like people with thicker hair don't deal with nearly as many tangles. My fine thin hair in the shower, if I'm not careful in terms of like separating it as I'm, you know, like rinsing out the conditioner, like it can get super tangly. But this, even if there is a tangle, I can easily work through it because it just leaves the hair soft, hydrated, but extremely clean. So if that's what you're looking for with an amazing, I would say aromatherapy experience, the Aveda Rosemary Mint um, purifying shampoo and weightless conditioner are absolutely worth checking out. Um, let me know what your favorite Aveda shampoo and conditioner is. I know that there's there's a ton of them, so let me know which one your favorite is. But this, in terms of keeping my hair looking its most vibrant, um, again, removing all of those styling products from not only my hair, but my scalp as well, all three fantastic options. Let me know what your favorite clarifying uh, product is in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you guys being here today and um, subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.